Welcome back here, everyone. Yes, the spooky music is here. Today is not only Halloween, of course, it's also National Magic Day. Joining us live to help us celebrate the art of illusion, three local magicians. They've entertained everywhere from cruise ships to the world famous Magic Castle in Hollywood. Please welcome Derek Ostavani, Ethan Scott, and Anjo Sanchez. Thanks, guys, for coming in, and a happy Halloween to you, and happy Halloween. National Magic Day. Likewise, same there's a lot of magic in the air every day. All right, so tell us a little bit about yourselves, and then um, you we're going to do some uh, a performance. Here. Yeah, of course. Uh, good morning. My name's again. My name's Anjo, a local magician here. So perfect for any private events or awesome. or corporate events. So yeah, thanks. You've for been doing magic us. for quite a while. Yes, I've been doing magic since I was about fourteen. Okay. And and so it's been it's been a long time. It bit you early. <laughs> the magic bug bit you early. Very early. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Derek, tell us a little about yourself. Yeah, I've been doing magic for about 20 years. I believe it or not, I used to be a structural engineer. Wow. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I found magic right before I went to university, and I fell in love with it. I knew it was going to be part of my life forever. And I weaned off the engineering, started doing this full time. No kidding. Yeah. Okay, cool. I predominantly do a lot of corporate events, theaters, cruise ships, things awesome. like you mentioned before. So yeah. Ethan, tell us a little about yourself. <laughs> Yeah, so uh, uh, kind of new to San Diego, um, been here for about two years, uh, so new, new, new to the magic scene here, but been doing magic for about uh, over 20 years now, okay. and I work uh, in downtown San Diego at, at, a, at a bar, and I also uh, do private events all over the county. Awesome, okay. Uh, give us the one, the most important part about a magic production, or what is the most important thing you have to have with the audience, or what is the, the most important about your skill set? To be magical. To be always magical and to always um, make sure that not only are we enjoying performing the magic, but our audience is enjoying the magic. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay, I like that, there. Oh, Yo, you got to have that wow factor. Yeah. Right. Boom. Like pizzazz. Pizzazz. Exactly. Okay. <laughs> Ethan, what about you? Yeah, I would say uh, you know thinking about uh, the audience and thinking about the people watching, yeah. right? Because a lot of times we know what we're doing, but it's 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 fresh for them. So make sure, sure that that it's engaging for them. Awesome. So. Awesome. All about uh, how they feel at home. Speaking of audience, viewers at home, let's see the show here. Okay, so what do you guys need me to do, if anything? Yeah, no, we're going to start off with uh, a little bit of uh, cards. Ooh, you familiar with cards? Yeah, I am. I, I, I can almost do that with a basketball. <laughs> I certainly cannot do that with a deck of cards. you got to start off somewhere. I okay, yes, right. Yes, 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 rookies. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Rookies, of course, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, but look, we're going to uh, show you that every single one of these cards here, in fact, uh, Make sure different there's 52. Here. I just counted 52. Yeah. You I mean, got them? Was like, that magic? Like rain man? Oh my yes, God. thank you, thank you. <laughs> so we'll give a little shuffle to be uh, fair in the okay. up and up. All right. But you know, I don't want to be the only one to shuffle this. I here. can do something. Yeah. I, 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 yeah, I, I, you know, yeah. I'm not necessarily a card <laughs> shark, but I can do a little bit of this. This is bridge, right? Isn't that what they say? There you go. And yeah. This is the little shuffle thing you guys do. I can tell viewers at home, these feel like real cards. And I am seeing, um, it feels like about 52. Uh, I haven't always worked with a full deck, if you know what I mean. <laughs> but I feel, t this morning, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm there. I'm there. So there uh, here we go. Is that good enough? That's e perfect. E I'm just going to cut. I'm going to cut. Ah, I'm going to do the last cuts. cut. The <laughs> hand cut. Classic. Go. Yes. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna have a card selected. Okay. Right. But look, I won't even touch these cards. Actually, Ethan, okay. you go ahead and do it. Thank you. Yeah. Awesome. So uh, it's good I'm just gonna uh, run through the cards like this, and anywhere you want, you just say stop. Stop. Right here. Yep. Right about right, there. So yeah. We'll, exactly we'll, uh, what I said. And it's okay for this if we all see the card. So in okay. this case, uh, we have the we have the five of hearts. Okay. Now, this is kind of like voodoo, right? It's Halloween. Sure, yes. So. Before I go any further, I want to make sure that everyone knows that there are uh, mates to cards, right? Like there are two red fives, True. right? There are two yeah, black diamonds. aces. Yeah. yeah, okay. So the mates of the five of hearts would be the five of diamonds. Exactly. Now, whatever we do to this card, the mate will actually react in a similar way. Interesting. So one of the things we can do, for example, is, is turn this five of hearts face up. Okay. And if we do that, you'll notice that the five of diamonds. No way! Actually come turns on, shuffle guys. them. These were all face you down. You <laughs> guys, come on! How does the mate flip around in I there? Know, and all that? I know. I know. Eric, we're gonna take this a step further. Okay, yes. Uh, wow further. me some more. I am not sure if that's possible. We are gonna mark this card. Okay, let's in a, mark it. In a, in a yep. more unique yeah, way. Rip, rip that thing up, because I know I yeah, I don't want anything to just take okay. a corner. All right, right? take a piece out. Taking a corner from this card okay. over here, and yeah. if I wave it over the deck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I see no what, strings, there's nothing in yeah. <laughs> Whatever mm -hmm. we do to the five of hearts yes. should happen. Oh, don't break the five of diamonds heart. Oh, oh wow. come on. <laughs> the five <laughs> of diamonds. <laughs> Is there little fingers under here that are ripping things up? That is, guys, that's incredible work. <laughs> Eric, let's take this one step further. Oh, God. Shall we? Come on. Oh, Why wait, not, right? there's more, okay. uh, the magicians say. Now, okay, listen, yeah. listen, Andrew clearly marked this by tearing a corner. Yeah, right? I saw that. Yeah. Uh, we're going to mark this again in, in, a, in a different way. Tell okay. me, hold out your hand flat. Okay. 
Place your other hand flat on top. Okay. Great. And I have the five of diamonds in my hand, the ripped five of diamonds. We're okay. going to mark this in a literal way by marking using a marker. Okay, okay. there we go. And you know what? Because everyone carries a Sharpie around in their pocket. <laughs> Not just any Sharpie, a king Sharpie, <laughs> a king Eric. Am I right? Come on. Is that a king size Sharpie? King yes, size that's Sharpie. another joke, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, now, considering we're here on CBS 8, you yes. know, I think we'll write uh, C, B, S, there it is. Yes. Beautiful. Perfect. And that's like we mentioned Good before. Penmanship you, and everything. Yes. You like that? Thank uh -huh. you. Yeah. Legibility is important. It is. Yes. <laughs> so obviously, whatever happens to this card, Eric, is going to happen to the card inside your hand. Mm -hmm. Right about now, you should feel like a little bit warmer, a little bit. Oh, is that a is like a sharpie? Warmth? No, no, no. King right Sharpie warmth. King, King Sharpie, Sharpie warmth. warmth. I'm telling you, if I open this up and it's this CBS 8, I think I'm going to faint live on air. <laughs> and I haven't done that in 20 years. Catch him. Catch him. Not on that side. Turn it over. How do we do? All right. No, I gotta turn it over? Turn it over. Come on! Oh, come on! <laughs> come on, guys! Come on! You guys, I gotta see your shows. Tell us where you guys are gonna be playing next. We're about out of time. Where are you gonna be next? <laughs> Uh, collectively, we all perform at the Prestige in downtown San Diego. Okay. Um, and I, I have a, a collective place that's throughout San Diego, Escondido, um, uh, Temecula, Mission Valley that I'm Where at. Where can we yeah. see you? Um, again, at the Prestige, November 10 and 11. I'm going to be doing my stage show, Believe. Okay, Ethan. Uh, as well as the, at the Prestige awesome. uh, and also private events, find us online. These Ooh. guys are amazing. We'll be right back after a quick break. Wow, guys, that was awesome. <laughs> Thank you.